Louis Cyr was born in saint cyprien de napierville Quebec, Canada, on October 10, 1863. Cyr was a famous French-Canadian strongman with a career spanning the late 19th and early 20th centuries. His recorded feats, including lifting 500 pounds, with one finger and backlifting 4,337 pounds, show Cyr to be, according to former International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness Chairman Ben Weider, the strongest man ever to have lift. Coming from a robust French-Canadian family, developing extraordinary strength, even at an early age. Whilst Louis' father was of average proportions, his mother was almost Amazonian, recorded as weighing 265 pounds at 6 feet 1 inch. She in turn had a father of 6 feet 4 inches and 260 pounds. From the age of 12 Sierra worked in a lumber camp during the winters and on the family's farm the rest of the year. Discovering his exceptional strength at a very young age, he impressed his fellow workers with his feats of strength. After learning of the tale, Sear attempted to mimic the practice of legendary strongman Milo of Croton, who as a child carried a calf on his shoulders, continuing to carry it as it grew into a full-grown bull and he into a grown man. Sear's calf, however, bolted one day, kicking him in his back, after which he instead began carrying a sack of grain a quarter of a mile every day, adding two pounds each day. According to one of his biographers, his mother decided he should let his hair grow, like Samson in the Bible. Lewis started his strongman career at the age of 17. He was matched in a contest against Michaud of Quebec, who was recognized as Canada's strongest man of the time, the results being that Sear beat him, the tests being the lifting of heavy stones, Sear winning the match by hoisting a granite boulder weighing 480 pounds. In 1878 the Sear family immigrated to Lowell, Massachusetts in the United States. It was in Lowell that Sear changed his name from Cyprien Note to Lewis, as it was easier to pronounce in English. Again his great strength brought him fame. At 17 years old he weighed 230 pounds. He entered his first strongman contest in Boston at age 18, lifting a horse off the ground. The fully grown male horse was placed on a platform with two iron bars attached enabling Sir to obtain a better grip. The horse weighed at least 1,500 pounds. In 1882 Lewis married Molina while Lewis worked as a lugger. The following year he and his wife returned to Lowell hoping to capitalize on his fame there. A tour of the Maritimes was organized, and while it may have benefited the organizer, Sear gained no profit financially. He then began touring Quebec with his family in a show they called the Troupe Sear. Soon proving his immense strength, he was urged by friends to enter the exciting, albeit highly precarious world of professional strong men, lifting mainly crude solid or shot filled weights. From 1883 to 1885, Sear served as a police officer in Montreal. Following this he went on tour with a troupe that included a wrestler, a boxer, and a weightlifter. He entered a strongman competition in March 1886, at Quebec City, against the reigning Canadian strongman, David Michaud. Sear lifted a 218-pound barbell with one hand, to Michaud's 158 pounds, and a weight of 2,371 pounds on his back, to his opponent's 2,071 pounds to win the title of strongest man in the country. Sear was a big man eating more than four normal men. Up to six pounds of meat at one meal, increasing weight enormously in his later years. His lightest body weight was when he competed against August Johnson, then just 270 pounds, although his normal contest condition was nearer 320 pounds. Perhaps his greatest feat occurred in 1895, when he was reported to have lifted 4,337 pounds on his back in Boston by putting 18 men on a platform and lifting them. One of his most memorable displays of strength occurred in Montreal on October 12, 1891. Lewis resisted the pull of four draft horses, two in each hand, as grooms stood cracking their whips to get the horses to pull harder. A feat he again demonstrated in Ottawa with Queen Victoria's team of draft horses during her royal visit. Sear was also credited with side pressing 273.75 pounds with one arm, a lift witnessed by Britain's great champion Tom Peviar, who described it more like a jerk press. Sears' dumbbells were often so unwieldy that many respectable strongmen were unable to lift them off the floor, let alone lift them overhead. By 1904 Lewis' health began to fail due to excessive eating and inactivity. At the time, he weighed 400 pounds, he slimmed as best he could for his last contest of strength with Prector de Kerry, with Lewis retaining his title, retiring unvanquished. Lewis Sear, the strongest man who ever lived, died on November 10, 1912, in Montreal, 
of chronic nephritis, being interred at St. Jean de Martha. Great homage was paid by all of Canada with immense crowds attending the funeral, with floral tributes coming from all over the world.